nobody Got them all like mine Her love's till the end She's my best friend Ain't nobody Got them all like <sighs> Hello everyone, this is Charity with Mad Vlogger And um, today's a little bit of like a mix of stuff I did a few clips here and there Because it was like Mother Daughter Day and me and my mom went swimming, went to the movies, um, out to eat, uh, ran up to the mall real quick, and, yeah. Anywho, my question today is, people that inspire me or have made a difference in my life, and, well, that brings up the mothers. I have two moms, two moms, um, blood mom stepmom. Uh, I don't call my stepmom by her name or I don't say there's my stepmom. Uh, I say mom and uh, she's been my mother since eight years old I think and uh, both of them have in their own way been there for me and taught me different things and different values and uh pretty awesome having two moms really <laughs> but um I'll explain a little bit of each mother okay my blood mom um this is a doozy when I was nine years old she had a car accident and hit her forehead onto a telephone pole going 65 miles an hour I think yeah uh I mean smashed her head in her eyeball little one her eyeball came out, um, it hit her part of the brain where, um, her personality was different, and, um, she, when she woke up, well, she was in a coma for a few months, sorry, my hair's like a mess today, um, she was in a coma for four, uh, four or five months, and she did not know she had children, she thought she was still married to my dad, and, um, I didn't get to see her for about a year, she was uh, totally different, so I had to get it to get to know uh, my mother again. Um, but I think she's better now than before. Uh, she's, you know, a tough woman. Um, she has taught me that I don't need anyone to live. Um, I just need myself. <laughs> and, um, you know, always pushed me to go and do things. Or pushed me to better myself. Um, she does have short-term memory. Like, she can watch a show of Law & Order. She loves Law & Order. <laughs> anyway, she can watch Law & Order. And then, like, the very next night, watch the same exact episode. I kid you not, she will not remember it. So, but uh, she's really, really such a strong person. And stubborn as heck. Um, and set in her ways. <laughs> okay, and now my other mom. She's, her and my mom have both, both have been there for me. And I'm going through a tough time right now. I was physically, mentally, and emotionally abused by my soon-to-be ex-husband. And, uh, but... Both of them, especially my mom, my stepmom, whatever. She has taught me how to keep myself safe. Um, you know, just because you're a girl doesn't mean, you know, you can't fight back. And that's one of the reasons I finally fought back. <laughs> um, it took me a long time to fight back. But... They both have been here through everything. I don't want to cry. <laughs> but they've both been here for me. Unconditionally. Um, no strings. Of course that's how a parent is or should be. And yeah. Right now like I had a, I was just doing a video. And um, somebody let the dogs loose. And somebody has been parking up my papa's house near where I'm staying, and it's scaring me after death. So, yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I think it's my ex. Um, anywho, my mom's out there right now, like, uh, army sergeant <laughs> guarding the place. She has, like, oh gosh, she is not scared of anything. I'll tell you that right now. Anything. And she loves animals. She, uh, takes care of them. Um, any, any animal that gets hurt, they bring her the animal and she tries to fix them up because there's not a lot of people that can afford to go to the vet so she does what she can but um those are the people that have impacted my life the most is my two mothers and I love them to the moon and back I love them farther than a light can shine into the universe and and that's that's forever so that's it um Everyone have a blessed day, a safe day, and good night, you beautiful bastards. My hair's not dry yet, but we're taking Bumblebee, Bumblebee out, so I'm a little excited. So, see, Bumblebee, but I just told my mom that like, if I ever get remarried, she'll have to offer this car as a dowry. Independence Day, there she is. I couldn't find her, and we're at Walmart now. There it goes. Woo! No, she can give you no car. <laughs> oh, Dylan Williamson. You know where we're at, Lovers. Nothing's coming. Yes, I'm sure.